Hello grade 12 and hello to everyone. Welcome back again into our lesson video. So today we're going to look at geography, um, climate and weather, specifically on team train vision. Okay, so this question paper or these kind of questions that we are going to be doing on this lesson are going to help us and assist us mostly in understanding deeper concepts on the team train vision. Okay, yes, so by the way, this is the easiest way to understand um, about this specific concept which is temperature invasion okay yes okay let's waste full time ladies and gents and climb to the very first question okay and also please don't forget to subscribe to the channel right yes just click that red subscribe button for more less content thank you so much okay so it says refer to figure 2.4 based on inland temperature invasion okay so this is our figure 2.4 that we have to that we have to look at okay yes so in our figure 2.4 we have two um, divided figures, okay? We have figure A and we have figure B, okay? As you can see. So you can take your time and try to contemplate and look roughly on these kind of figures, okay? Yes, okay. Let's climb to our question without losing no time. So 2.4.1 says, what is temperature inversion? Okay, so a definition of temperature inversion is required in this instance, guys. So it's simple, guys. A temperature inversion is a situation whereby the higher one goes the warmer it becomes or this is by an increase in altitude is an increase in temperatures you know that it's vice versa from a, um, from a from a normal um scenario whereby an increase in altitude is a decrease in temperatures meaning that the higher one goes the colder it becomes in normal situations however when it comes to temperature inversion the higher one goes, the warmer it becomes, or in just formal ways, you can just say temperature inversion is by an increase in altitude is an increase with temperatures. For instance, let me make an example with, um, with a quick diagram that I'm going to make for you here. Let's say this is the land, okay? Let's say this is the land. Okay, let me erase that. Um, let me say this is the land. This is the land. Okay, so this is the land, and in the land, you know that maybe you have that cold density because you know that in most situations or in in in, in um in, in obvious cases, temperature variation occurs in winter, right? Yes. So or at the in winter, so we have cold air here. So mean that the higher one goes, the warmer it becomes now. Meaning that as you go up, okay, yes, as you go up, the warmer it becomes okay yes so you have this warm air here but on the surface there is dominantly or the surface is dominantly um, occupied with the cold dense air okay yes but the higher one goes the warmer it becomes and however um, on top of this warm air we have other cold air which have trapped this warm air which is causing this temperature invasion or this inversion layer okay yes so inversion layer is a situation where an increase in altitude is an increase with temperatures okay that's how it goes simple thing i've emphasized and um, made you to understand that easier guys so let's move to the next following question so the next following question says um 2.4.2 which season is represented by the position of the inverted layer in sketch a so let's climb to sketch a so which season is represented by this inversion layer in, um, in in sketch A? So let's look at our sketch A. Okay, which season is this? The tim let's just first read that temperature inversion is below the escarpment. You know that when the temperature inversion is below the escarpment, so this is the ocean at this point, okay? Yes. So this is the escarpment down the escarpment, and this is the plateau on top here. Okay, this is the plateau of South Africa. And this is the escarpment downwards and this is the coastal area or this is the ocean right yes so you can see that the temperature inversion is below the escarpment meaning that the temperature inversion is below the escarpment okay yes meaning that if ever the temperature inversion is below the escarpment that means we are in winter that's number one very first proof the second proof at a to prove that a is winter is that the color high is dominantly um in the interior of south africa okay yes the, the 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 presence of the um of the of the um of the midland cyclone 
the coastal low pressure there um the south indian anticyclones also with the south atlantic anticyclone you know diverging those winds into the interior of south africa um it's in winter you know yes so yeah so a is in winter so let's let's raise that okay let's raise it okay let's move to the next following question okay so um the next following question says 2.4.3 draw a simple cross section which will show the position of the temperature inversion in sketch b so i've drawn for you the the sketch which will show the position of the temperature inversion in sketch a but now b is required okay yes let's draw for b let me use um blue and red for the temperature inversion right yes so this is the plateau and this is the escarpment down the escarpment to the coastal areas and to the ocean okay yes so this is the ocean and here in the ocean we have your uh, the coastal low pressure but the fundamental thing is to show the position of the temperature inversion right here yes. so the temperature inversion in summer because let's think about sketch b as well which season is that sketch b it's in summer However, in A, it's winter, we've, we've uh, clarified that. So why I'm saying it's summer, it's, it's summer. Um, it's because the um, tropical cyclone is present there, as you can see. Number two, the cold front usually misses Cape Town, meaning that the cold front which is passing through, which is the mid cyclone, misses Cape Town. That's why we don't receive, that's why Cape Town doesn't receive um, the mid cyclones in summer, right? Yes, because now, we also have the low pressure system, right? Yes, so sorry, the low pressure, okay? Yes, low pressure trough in the interior of South Africa. There is no presence of the Canary High, okay? Yes, so that we have the low pressure inside. Why? It's because the ICZ, okay, which is the equator, have moved downward, meaning that towards the interior of South Africa, okay? Yes, meaning that now we are receiving those low pressure, we are receiving those high temperatures, Etc. It's in summer now. However, if the ITZ have moved downwards, also other other lines of latitude move downwards, such as the subtropical high temperatures south of the equator have moved downwards in this instance. That's why the cold front misses Cape Town because it moved downwards. However, in winter it was supposed to be at this position. Okay. Yes. So it it was going to hit Cape Town. By the way. Okay. Yes. So it's in summer, B is summer, so we have to draw the temperature invasion. So the temperature invasion is going to be like this. It's above the, the escarpment or the interior of South Africa. I mean that it, it allows warm moist air to, to rise from the ocean to reach the what? To reach the, the inland or the interior of South Africa, right? Yes, so that's why we receive many, many kind of rainfalls in summer, okay? Yes, so the fundamental things that you have to representing this diagram or illustrate is the temperature inversion number one so it's our temperature inversion here right yes number two is the escarpment and just say this is the escarpment right and right this is the escarpment and say this is the interior of south africa it says so um, i think the fundamental thing that you have to show is the escarpment and the and the um temperature inversion the position okay yes you know that in winter it's here okay yes and in summer it's upwards so the other thing now we have to understand in this case is that as maybe some of you are asking why in summer it's upwards and in winter it's downwards it's because in winter there is more subsiding air cold than air okay yes which then tends to be very very warm dry air because it goes down mean that it hits at a particular rate of one degree Celsius per hundred meters so that tends air then pushes the the inversion layer downwards in winter but now it's in summer meaning that we are experiencing a very low pressure okay with high temperatures meaning that there is an intense evaporation or there's an intense moist air which tries to which tries to rise so it pushes the inversion layer upwards so that's why in summer the inversion layer pushing it it's up the interior of south africa or up or very far from the escarpment okay yes so that's what you have to you have to understand in this case
Okay, let's erase that, guys, very quick to plan to the next following question. Okay, thank you. Okay, so let's climb to the next following question. So the next following question says 2.4.4. Says, explain why the position of the inversion layer varies between winter and summer. I've just explained that, guys. Okay. Yeah. So, 2.4.4, we have to explain why it varies between winter and and in summer. So, this is winter and this is summer. Let me draw the temperature inversion so it's explain it again. And explain it again. So, this is the interior of South Africa and this is the escarpment and this are the coastal areas and this is the ocean okay yes so let me just say like that so the temperature inversion in winter is at this position okay is below the escarpment right blocking any kind of warm air that you're trying to rise okay yes so in summer the temperature inversion is like this i've just drawn it okay so this is the ocean so it's upwards, okay, it's up there, okay, yes, very far from the escarpment, or it has moved upwards, okay, yes, okay, let me explain now, okay, let me just draw a line here, so that you don't get confused, okay, let me explain now, this is in winter, and this is in summer, okay, yes, so, the, the reason why the temperature, the position of the temperature inversion is here in winter, it's because in winter, I'm just explaining this to you guys, okay? Yes, in winter there is more subsiding, okay? okay? Yes, with the with also with the influence of the calorie high, okay? Yes, then it pushes the inversion layer to to move downward. So that's why the position of the inversion layer in winter is downward there. There is more subsiding air, okay? Yes. However, you know that when the warm moist air mostly in the eastern ocean is trying to rise, okay? When it tries to rise, it gets trapped in this inversion layer, okay? Yes. So when it's trapped, it means that there is other cold air underneath and there's other um, very, very dense air, which is more, there's more subsiding air in winter, which suppresses the inversion layer to be on that position, okay? Yes, it pushes that visually to be on that portion i hope you understand it okay with also the influence of the subtropical high which is dominated and overlies in the interior of south africa okay so let's move to summer why in summer the invasion layer it's up there it's because in summer now you know that in summer when you say we are in summer the ITC is it is close to the interior of south africa meaning that also the subtropical high has moved far away from south africa meaning that we are no longer experiencing high pressure now just like in winter we are experiencing a low pressure okay yes meaning that there are more uh, or there are high temperatures which are going to result in more rising air or an intense rising air okay yes so there's more rising air more rising air also in the interior of south africa in the dams lakes and rivers as well as in the ocean as, I show, as i'm showing you here okay there's more rising air okay yes which then pushes that inversion layer to be positioned upwards okay yes and that's how it goes which then allows more humidity to, to evaporate in from clouds that's why in summer we receive that summer rainfall so i think i've explained the fundamental concepts under that that specific area of the um the position of the invisible layer in winter and in summer okay so it's because of those things so you can just take some few um some few words from me or some few um, ideas from what i said so that you can apply during your exams okay yes okay so let's quickly erase that so that you can move to the next one question let's raise that so guys i hope um you're noting down some notes okay yes i hope um, you can just also repeat the video if you want to just before maybe writing exams or maybe in, during your free times you can just repeat the videos that you can watch um, more minutes because that's going to create more understanding okay okay so let's move to the last question okay so the last question says 2.4.5 in a paragraph of approximately it lines evaluate the influence of the position of the individual layer in sketch a on the climate okay so in that sketch a when winter so that you are going to 
um, stay the influences um, that are brought by the invisible layer during winter regarding the climate and how it, it impacts negatively the economic activities okay in the interior of south africa okay so now you know that in winter i mean that our, our sketch a in winter the portion of the invisible layer is um, below the coming in that it's blocking um, evaporation um, etc because of that more subsiding dry um, dense air okay yes okay so in that case now so we have to stay the climate the climate conditions okay yes that are being um, um, influenced by this or by the position of that specific invisible layer in winter okay yes so number one you can just say um, it's simple guys straightforward okay you can just use your own ideas just uh, as I've explained like before okay yes in, in, in the questions that are before this question so you can just say there will be no air that will reach the interior of South Africa that's number one okay there will be no air that is going to reach the interior of South Africa in terms of the climate number two you can also say that if there is no air mean that there will be very dry conditions in the interior of South Africa which will, which will then lead to um, um, drought, I mean that drought will prevail in that situation, okay? Yes, number two, and I mean that we have to give two each, okay, from the climate and two under economic activities, okay? Yes, so the other thing that you can say under climate, um, I'm just going to give you maybe three. Um, you can just also say that there will be a lack of rain for me, that there are clear skies, so that's why in winter we have clear skies because of that invasion layer, okay? That doesn't allow. Um, more moisture to rise. Okay, yes. So that's how it goes. So let's talk about the economic activities very quick right now. So in terms of the economic activities, you can say that just because in winter we're receiving no moist air or even no rainfall at all or in other places in winter. So meaning that um, you can just say number one and the economic activities um, um, uh, farmers Okay, meaning that they are they are now um, disadvantaged. Okay, to grow crops because there is a lack of rainfall. Number one, and number two, we can just say, um, you know, that in winter and that um, there is dominant um, or the cold air is dominantly in the surface of the interior of South Africa, meaning that now um, that can lead to um, frost. Okay, yes, you know that as well as retention for. So meaning that um, regarding the frost now, the farmers have to be picky when it comes to growing their crops. Meaning that they are going to or they are required to grow crops that are resistant to 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 the to the frost. Okay, yes. So meaning that they are going to be able to they they they, they are only able to um, plant crops or grow crops that are able to grow under the conditions of frost. Okay, yes. And number three, you can just say, um, in terms of the economic activities, um, you know that in, in, in winter, there's no rainfall, that will also lead to rivers and drying up, okay? And that will influence the recreational activities, reducing the tourism, etc. So that's going to be number three. So you can just note those down. I think you can clearly see that those are just straightforward um, things that you have to only thing about just use your your mind you know yeah you can just think um about those um fundamental things and just create your eight lines but make it sure that you have these one two points and one two points for the climate okay yes and that's how it goes guys um that's it please don't forget to subscribe for more content and that's the end of our lesson video have a great day cheers